The takeover. The takeover. Okay, did we start? Yeah, we did. That's how I start. Takeover. Now there's a lot of things we're gonna get in eventually. When I speak, and when I speak, and when I speak, when I speak yes. Hello. Okay. All right, we're on. We're on. We're on, and the levels are going, and we're good to go. We're good to go, and we're. We're here at, well, we're not here, but the takeover started. The episode started, if you're listening, then you know the episode started because obviously, uh, you know, listen, people, we talk about this every week. People start their podcast and they're like, hey, welcome to the podcast, but we don't have to do that because you know that you've been welcomed to the podcast numerous times. Unless you're a first time listener, then hey, welcome to the podcast. But I doubt that this is the first episode you've ever listened to, but it could be. I could be wrong about that. This could be the first episode you've ever listened to, but I don't know you, so how would I know that? So assuming this is the first episode you've ever listened to, welcome to the takeover with Michael Inochi. And then this is, we're hanging out. We're having a good time and the, and the podcast started. But if it's not your first episode that you've ever listened to, then you're like, okay, here he goes again with a different, this is a different background. Like what, why is it like this? Like what, who is that? Where is he? And it's like, oh, is he somewhere else that he's not where he usually is? That's what you would say if it was your first time listening to the podcast, right? If it was your first time, you'd be like, oh, I don't know. Is this how it always looks? But if it's, but if it's, it's not your first time. You're like, okay, he's somewhere different now. Is he, is he still in LA? Yeah, I'm in LA. Relax. I didn't leave. I didn't go back home for Christmas yet. Am I throwing a, you know what I'm doing because I titled the podcast as a guest name. So you know that this is, I'm at Maddie's house and I'm laughing because Maddie is rolling his eyes, looking at the ceiling because he has to sit through my start. I started the podcast. So I'm starting the podcast and he's not allowed to talk until I introduce him because that's the rules. Like right now it's a solo screen of just me, but watch when I do an edit and it's going to be split screen and it's going to be kind of cool. I'm getting a little self-conscious because I brought a jacket because I want to wear a jacket for this episode and I forgot to put it on, but it's too late now. So it's just like, this is how I have to look for the podcast. Can you see that my legs are crossed? I don't know. I'm not really that worried about it because I'm a confident man that can cross my legs like a female. I do that a lot. A lot of males will sit with the ankle on the knee. And I've talked about this in a previous episode before, and I do that a lot. I'll do a podcast and I'll talk about a certain subject and I'll be like, I think I've talked about this before on a previous episode. And it's like, am I repeating myself? And it's like, whatever. Okay. But I'm crossing my legs like a man who's confident being a man. And I'm not homophobic, but my guest today is, and his name's Maddie Shimbor. Hey. What about that? Homophobic? How about how about that start? It was a good that was start. Good. It was a good start. You, you zigzag. I you zigzag got and I go in and I start and and that that's what's missing each week. Sometimes, sometimes I don't start the podcast that way mm-hmm. because I want to be more real. But then I'm going, and then I get in a flow and I like the flow because that's what we're doing here at the takeover. We're, we we have to have a good flow because when you have a good flow, you have good chemistry. You're going and you're working and then it, the Can people I talk now. No, not yet. And then the people are listening. <laughs> They're listening and they're like, whoa, this is a good flow. And it's like, well, what is this? And it's like, oh, this is a good team. We have a good team and we want to win championships because we're listening to the greatest sports podcast of all time that doesn't talk about sports. That's true. What's up, dude? Why? Dude. You're too relaxed. That's the I mean, problem. Like, you, listen. If you put you, me on this nice couch. Bro. Which is my couch, by the way. No, no, no. It's not your couch. When I'm here, you're. this is my place. We're in my studio. I got a new <laughs> studio, guys. Welcome to the new TakeOver studio. What if we did this every week? And this was how the podcast and I just was. came home and, and it's it was called new guests. No, it's just the takeover of Michael and Ochi, but you're on it. Oh, I'm <laughs> you just need the background laughter. That's what you want me to be. No, you're just there to bounce off ideas. <laughs> that sounds like a good You're I'm already gonna... like, come on, let's pick it up. Do you have the coffee? I mean, the coffee's not I kicking mean, in for you. It's good. It tastes good. Well, we got a shitty coffee. That no, literally t- I thought it was iced tea, that's how bad it was. Is your volume low? Is my volume low? No, I'm just saying, do you do you feel like your energy's low? D- I don't well, when you call me out, I think it does. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you're not as enthusiastic as I am about doing a podcast. I'm excited, Mike. I'm just trying to, you know, wrap my head on. I was watching you- a moth, and then you fucking just shouted me in. You're nervous. I'm not nervous. What do now, you want me to talk about? I'm something. like, it's your podcast, so I'm almost trying to, like, watch what you do. But if you want me to just take over the takeover. No, you can't. I can That's easily the- do that. I just watch what you did. I do that on mine. Welcome back to the Maddie I'm the, podcast. I'm the coach. I'm the coach. Now I'm I, assistant I, coach? 
You can be an assistant coach. I, yes. I, I, maybe I'm on the other team. I'm the coach of the other team. No, no, no. There's no. There's only one team. <laughs> okay. There's only one team, but we're the team. And we'll, I'll bring it. Listen, I, you got other, me shit coffee. I had to make my fucking own. All right, listen. We're already swearing too much. Let's bring too it much. down. Sorry. Much. Because Lenoche, you know why? I'm sorry. I'm Thank sorry. you. Because now he gets it. He's seen the podcast before. He said, Miss Lozier. I'm sorry. Mom, we're sorry. Okay. Your son sorry came about the here. swear. He's freaking out. And, Mom, you know what? You're going to call and you're, like, you're going to tell us about Maddie. Okay. But, Mom, let me ask you something about Maddie. What about the hair sticking out the front with the hat? Is that a that's thing? That's the move. That's the move? Yes. You think that's the move? You look, I don't, I like. So people know where, that there's hair, but you have bald vibes, <laughs> <laughs> but I, dude. I like you, no one knows if you have bangs. At least I show, like, hey, I'm not. See, hold on. You think that looks better? You didn't do anything. Oh really? No, why it freaks me out? Because this, watch, cool, cool ass hair in the front. This is little kid shit. I could be bald right now. What about now? That just looks more relaxed. You look like a different person. And I, look, I bet you – I think it looks cheesy. I think this looks awful. You think this looks better for me. I think this looks awful. But I'm asking on me. Does this no, look better? No, because your bangs are crooked. <laughs> there is a style. It's like any – It works for you because you know why? You look like you – you look like you literally get your hair cut at Supercuts. You're get, a Supercuts model. My haircut costs $50. You're supercuts, hold on. My haircut costs $50. Maddie, you're a Supercuts uh, model. Okay. But, but, this but, makes no sense. By the sense. way, no, it does. Watch, watch where I'm going to go with this. I'm and everybody, everybody listening, everybody listening is going to be like, "Wow, that's a thing." You're a super cuts model, and when I say model, I don't mean you're like a handsome guy. You're oh, regular. Wow. You're a six. You're an LA six, a and you're a six Connecticut and a five. And here's the deal. I'm more in Connecticut. You, isn't that funny how I switched it? That's called but, comedy. That's called comedy. A good left turn. I mean, right that there. wasn't even a lot. It wasn't. There's one point. It wasn't a hilarious thing, but it was still funny <laughs> to be a six in LA and then a five, five in Connecticut. Connecticut. It's funny That's because funny. you know why in Connecticut you got to look more like shit to be hotter. In Connecticut, if you because Maddie's from Connecticut, if you've ever been to Connecticut, if you are too good looking in Connecticut, people are not attracted to that. In Connecticut, they want to know that you've done heroin. So that's why. That's not true. Maddie has baggage. If like if you're a girl and you're I listening have, to this, he's he's got he's got he's got issues. He's got baggage. He kind of looks like he has it together, but he's got issues. Like dude, he's a I'm a fucking finished product. Bro, what did we say about the f words, dude? Oh yeah, that's right. Do you know because YouTube will hide I, your videos? Oh, if you that's swear right. More. Do you bl- do you bleep it? No, I just try to not swear as much. That's a good point because I would just bleep it and keep swearing as much as I. It's normally more up go. top. It's up top. You're supposed to not swear as much. Let's recap. No, you just, recap. You just, no you baggage. Just, Haircuts expensive. Haircuts. You're not, wearing single dad clothes. I'm. You're I, I, struggling. I'm not a dad yet, dude. The fairest shirt. I want to be a dad. That's dude. This is a classic. Dude, that's. I. It's a great. Sh- but you like. You it's don't a great wear podcast those. shirt. You it's don't a, wear those. It's a great podcast shirt though. You do funny shirt comedy. For no, no, I know it. Don't, no, 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 no. Let's not. <laughs> Well, well you first do, of all, you do. I had a bit about this article. I got to take a time out. We're going to take our first time out in the first quarter. Okay. Here's my first time. It doesn't mean we're stopping the podcast. No, I'm, just, I'm just saying a coach time out. I don't get slammed on my own podcast. That's one of the major rules because I'm the coach. You That's fine. You don't have, but I'm also ter- the- you don't have turmoil in the locker room. We got to fix this. Okay. If I'm the star quarterback who chirps back. Okay. But that's the vibe. You need me to win championships. Yeah. And you need me to win. Do, championships. Are people going to listen to this episode and be like, you know what? I'm a better person today. They will. Once we, they find out where we, where mi- our chemistry is. Dude, this is the first time. The first, this first is the time. first real podcast with each other. Even though this is Maddie Schimborg part two, this is the first one because the f- the the first time we tried it, it was, was just, just troubleshooting. It was a it was a mess. It, it was it was an L. Listen, you can't win every episode, and I've explained this pretty much every episode of the Takeover that you know some episodes are L's, and I've had a lot of L's. I'm a 500 team. The first episode with you and me was an L. It was an L. My you mom know. said it. My mom said it wasn't. Here's here's what my mom did say last week. First time she's ever did because she listens to my podcast on the walks. She goes, "What happened last week? It was kind of a, a boring episode." She said, and it was a soul. She goes, "It wasn't. It wasn't good." Your mom watches your episodes. No, she listens, and she said Defend. last week's episode wasn't good. You when you did it by yourself or with me? No, with my, my by myself. That really? was the first time she's ever like. No, with you, she was just like you guys were just explaining we like yeah. stuff. But she's like, I got to the end. No, she listens to every episode. She goes, "Last week was the first time." She goes, "It wasn't good." Wow. It Did you ask why? No, I knew. I kind of phoned it in last week. What, for what reason? I only, first of all, it was the first time I didn't do an hour in a long Which, time. And I was just like kind of like I didn't have any material. Yeah. And you know what? I, I, I showed up to work and I didn't deliver. 
You know what I? You know what it, it was like? It was like, hey, That's are you? That's fine though. Are you trying to get fired? So that being said, I went into this week going, all right. You know what? Sometimes you have to scratch your game plan and come in with a different game plan, and that's why I was like, let me. Let me get some help. You got to here's what here's what you have to do as an adult. And this Bring is the first daddy. lesson. Here's the first lesson as an adult. And I'm mentoring Maddie right now. I'm going to tell him cuz I'm a little bit older and I have some more I'm 33. wisdom. 33. He's 36. 38. So 36, bro. Relax. Now <laughs> Bro, if you're going to laugh at your own jokes, pull your mic down so we can Why? see you see you smile. See, see I'm focus. already helping him already. Like he's not a professional on-camera mic host person. This is why he hasn't got hired you ever by see Bull e. Durham. You're the Years catcher. Ago. You're the catcher that talks shit to me, so I punch you with my non-pitching hand. We'll let that bit sit, and we'll see if people even laugh. If they watch Bull Durham, look at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So now here's the wisdom part I was going to say. What was I talking about? I kind of forgot. What was I saying before the bird, bell door? Blah, blah, blah? Uh, just you about the, the podcast uh, the not wisdom. going well. And you – Oh, you admitting you're wrong. It's hard for men to do that. They have egos. I can admit I'm wrong. Maddie's not ready yet. Okay, he won't admit that he gets a fucking uh, 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 a haircut from supercuts. It's not, I, dude. It looks like you would be on the supercuts. Like yeah, that's it, not supercut. No, it looks like you would be one of the guys on the wall. Oh, that, 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 but I'm. They're not getting it at supercuts. Sure, but you look like a supercuts model on the wall. Okay, but you're not like a model. You got you know that right. I know I'm not a model. You know you're a regular guy. I've had in this last year I've You had, look like you you can you look like you know how to change the oil, but you might mess up. I don't know how to change oil and I oh, would mess up. Wow, what a fucking pathetic <laughs> I don't do little, that. Bro, a, can we talk about why you don't know how to change your oil? I just don't do Is that. Is it because stuff. you don't have a dad? Honestly, I had a stepdad, but he didn't change his oil. <laughs> Men in my bro, life you, don't you, change dude, oil. Your stepdad was a beta. No, he wasn't. He would do shit. He sank boats. Do you know how to change a fucking tire? Yeah, I've done that before. I do. I just. I got. My AAA. roommate didn't. My roommate doesn't. I got AAA. My, my roommate didn't have a dad either. It's funny because you guys are good at cooking. You both are good at cooking, cleaning. Who You're told you I didn't have a dad? Because I never told you. You did. That. I just, when I just jokingly figured it out, and then you were like, "Yeah, I didn't have a dad." <laughs> I was like, "Oh wow, it's like because you you're interesting because you didn't have a dad growing up." But like you don't have that rugged feel to you. You have like oh, I mean that's fine. It seems like you came from a uh, like a good family, but you 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 are a broken home kid. Yeah. That's weird. That's not I mean, bros broken home kids like are rugged and have some issues. Like it seems like you're emotionally stable. Emotionally stable, financially stable. Financially <laughs> stable. <laughs> dude cuz dude, dude, first of all, relax, bro. Financially you, have a, you have a job. Stable. You're not like you're an open micer. I just don't do that shit. I but that's see, I work You never went sh- back. You never got suspended in high school? No. That's so had, weird. You never I, gotten. I had you, one detention ever. You never. I was a star you never bo- athlete. <laughs> you bro, can't do these bad things, you, bro. You you can't. The way you said I was a star athlete, for sure. Not fucking true. irritating. For sure. Okay, here's true. the deal. But you never, you never like, acted out in middle school or something I because was, of no. issues. No. Cause wait, this is why. Watch, watch how much of a therapist I am. And everybody, I says got loud this. in elementary school. Him. I was loud. But here's here's why. I never was here's bad. why I fix. This is why because people hit me up. They're like, you're like a therapist. Sometimes they say that because I'm very in- this intuitive. Is session. I intuitive. Kill no, I'll tell you. No, it's not a therapy session. But I am in a therapist chair. That is it. Here's the reason why your stepdad came into your life early. He averted. Right? He took the plane off turbulence and leveled it out and then pulled the chute and let it just kind of go on its own. See? what? <laughs> how old were you when the stepdad came? Uh, Elementary I, school. I want to say like kindergarten. Oh, really early? So it's not Maybe. like you're, it's not like you're from a broken home because in kindergarten you're f- five. I mean, but the stepdad vibe for a while, it's not like I was calling him When dad. you were five, but, but you were like, you didn't know what it was. You didn't understand what, what was happening. Not really. You didn't even know your dad. I did. A you remember bit. him? Yeah, we, we would go like see him on the weekends and shit. But then like, it was never like uh, that's why when peer people like their parents would up, I'm like, I didn't give a fuck. Like, well, I, you're too young to. Understand. It was too young to see the. And then difference. you had a replacement, right? See, now we're in a good mood because now we're being real and it's and and this is helpful. Wait, so <laughs> that's helpful. that that just proves <laughs> it, it proves it proves that because listen, I've always been like I've always used the line when uh, I've always said to like girls or something i've been like you know my parents are still married so like i'm a good i'm a good guy that's a good it's a good i'm a good guy because like you know i come from i'm a family-oriented boy man who wants that so then 
if I uh, emotionally, you don't realize this, by the way, when you're a kid and you're growing up, you don't realize it until you're an adult, like in your 30s, that like, oh, how much uh, coming from a broken home or or not having uh, influence or mentors or like a, pa- a stable home I can see fucks it. up a kid. No, I can see it. Like you, get, when I remember being a teenager and my, my best friend down the street, had his parents are divorced. Right. I was like. Oh, uh, who cares? He has a normal life. But then you could see how that messes them up when they're older emotionally and and, and in relationships. Right. So then me saying to you, and you don't seem like someone who grew up without a dad because it's you fucking had your dad. Your stepdad came in when you were five. Yeah. So it was like you really never had a broken home. You you came home to your mom being in love and seeing that. If a broken home is 50 percent, meaning I was I feel like I was at like a 75, 80 but even leaning more towards the full, there was like a few things where I knew I, I called him by his first name. You can't, that's a psychological thing that you're gonna, you know what I'm saying? You would go to school and be like, and when, when, when the teachers or something, they're talking about families. You're like, I have a stepdad. Yes. So I had the, you had to say that hurdle, but it wasn't like taboo growing up. No, it was pretty common growing up. But for, you gotta think, I think it's you coming home and seeing your mom with someone and her being happy. I think that's part of it. Right. That you don't think about is doing something to someone psychologically. Right. Like as opposed to coming home and your mom's like, I got to work. I'm stressed out. I'm doing this. I never or, saw her a boyfriend. Or multiple boyfriends. Like I remember one of my best friends growing up, Chris, his mom had boyfriends and he, she dated um, a South African guy right. who clearly used her uh-huh. to get citizenship and then left her and was eventually having an affair. See, I would fucking want to murder people. Uh, if a guy fucked up your mom. Oh, dude, I would. Sure. Kill. I would for sure lose my mind. But, I mean. The but guy- I even think. But although, going back, I noticed. And this isn't not trying to like. I sometimes, like, am so considerate towards women. I won't even, like, think to, like, bother. Like, if I feel like any pullback, I just go away. Rather than, like, bothering them. I'd rather, like, make sure they're fine. You know, like. Smart. I know some horrible things you've done to women. Name them. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Name them on the podcast. Um, I mean, like some dudes, I don't want to even like throw dudes on the bus because I'm team fucking bro. You know, like you're team bro. That was this awful thing. Wow. I wish I didn't say. It's okay, bro. It's he's 33, but he acts like he's 23. No, but meaning it, like I just see dudes some, treat some girls like shit, and then I'm like, I would never do that. And then I reflect on how I. Is it because you, you really love your mom? Say it. Yeah, I love. Say my I mom. love. Say I love. I love my, my mom. mom. I say I love you to my mom. See, mom, I have good friends. Every I, phone call, I say I love you, mom, and she says, "All right." <laughs> my mom goes always I, I she goes all right love you and then i sometimes go all right fine love you too that's funny I, I i i choose when to because listen my mom you know she's a good person but you know she was really bad to my dad she used to cheat on him when we were earlier i'm just kidding mom i just like wow to fuck her. she gets so, so this woman's critiquing our podcast she gets yeah she gets so wow. mad when i joke around she'll literally call and she goes why would you do that like i'm like it's a joke mom nobody's gonna take it seriously you're british so, oh, like, she's British? Yeah, you've known this. I've never knew your mom. Is your mom, it, what is your mom besides like, she's for sure like, she, your, t- your mom has a tattoo. No. Really? Oh my, dude, <laughs> fuck no. I'm, no, no. My mom You're, cried my first show she came to. Really? Because she doesn't because was, know my She was humor. like, he's not talented. She goes, this is what you've been doing out there? No. Literally. Oh, oh for real? Do my humor when is just. When she heard you curse, she was like upset. Dude, that's our relationship. Like, if a t- we were watching TV and my mom was next to me and tits came on the screen, I would literally wish I fell into a coma. Like that tension, no. I couldn't handle that. I've had my mom knows I was a dog, and I've said I that could I, never. I, my mom no. also, I've told her things, and she's like, "That's not the son I've raised." I could never even like getting drunk in front of my mom, like even having drinks and shit, like. We're cool, like we're we're friends, but I'm not like some people. And I've talked about this, like they're too close with their parents to the point where I'm like, that's fucking gross that you're saying that. No. Like I'm so considerate around my mom and like what I say, and I think that's why because then she comes to my show and I was doing some like fucked up, dirtier shit, and I think she just was like, I no, this is not my boy. And then she was drinking wine and she was my buddy. I saw him by the bathroom and he goes, your mom's crying, and I go, you're fucking lying. And then she left shivering drunk. It made you feel bad. Red wine. I mean, I was more like you're overreacting, but I, in hindsight, she's cool now. She's been to show. She like, she's not. Well, I mean, comedy's not for everyone either. I mean, for, you're talking to Parisian choir. Wait. So 
I would be, I, there would be times when I, I would come home drunk and I don't know if I was in high school or I was home from college over the summer and my mom would like, I would come in drunk and I would like talk to my mom when she was like sleeping and then she would be like, and she would just ask me cause she like, she would take, adva- she, she would take advantage of me. Really? Yeah. She would go, like, oh, so tell me about like, she would like start. Uh, interrogating me, but not in a bad way. She was very peaceful. She was like, oh. <laughs> and she would get information out of me because I was wasted. And wow. so like, yeah, sure, I'll tell you. And she knew I was wasted, but she's she's a little like, she's she'll play like she's oblivious, but she's not. I would do the same. I would go same. I'm home, but I would proceed to go. Just go. No, she knew. One time I remember we would we used to hot box, as they call it, up in the yeah. north. We used to fog out our cars in high school yeah. and smoke weed. And I remember we come in, we came into the house and we're, and this is when American Idol first started and we were in the TV room, like watching the TV. (laughs) And I remember I looked to my right and my mom was just staring at me watching the TV. And I remember going, she knows. No way. I thought she knew. And then I remember asking her later on in life, I go, did you know we were high watching? She goes, no. I was like, what the are you staring at? What the F were you staring at me? I, you know. Do you think our parents have ever looked at us and said, I hate them? I wish I didn't. One hundred percent, one thousand percent. I feel like I couldn't imagine. Everyone who has kids are like, "Oh, you don't understand the love, all this bullshit." But I'm like, at the end of the fucking day, though, it's somebody else. It's with somebody else. There must be a little bit of a room for like, fuck that person, that you can blame it on your other, your significant. All right, how about this? Do does a mom choose the son over the husband? 100% of the time if it's if they're hanging off bro of- I my stepdad used to get so mad because I ran that fucking house to the point where like I wouldn't want to do shit and then he would have to that moth I had a girl I, o- I had a girl over mm-hmm. and I didn't think she saw it and we're still talking and then it hit her in the mouth and did she know it hit her in the mouth yeah and then we left and I go I saw that fly by and I wanted it to go away and then it came and hit her in the mouth Does she? do you still talk to her no not at, at all uh, Not even I as mean, friends. Te- yeah, the little texting here and there. Could you change her name to Moth? I would. Moth have. girl. Moth eater. <laughs> Wait. So. So, anyways, I fucking because I'm the you know I feel like in the step relationship, the kids are gonna r- fucking you know run the sorry again. Um, Bro, I'll help you do it. I'm gonna fix your comedy. Um. Thank you. Wow. By, uh, by getting rid of the f word, uh, dude. I used to have a bad habit with. I do it. a bad. Actually, it is a bad habit. I just did a show two last weekend and i it goes away if you watch yourself i mean i hear it and i get mad at myself and then i do the show and i forget anyways my stepdad i used to he would want me to do shit i tell my ma i don't want to do it so you say ma i guess ma ma. you call her ma or italian i call i call my mom colette you call your mom by her name (laughs) some a lot of the times i'll refer to my mom and it's not disrespectful thing it's because bart simpson would do it and i grew up watching him because he called her marge marge and homer so I would call my parents Manny and Colette. I mean, I call. And people, I think everybody. Some people get offended that I would do that. They're like, "How could you?" I go, "Shut up!" But you would it's call her fun. You would call her like in other settings. You'd call. Sure, her. I've called her mom and I've called her dad for sure. But I also, when I'm thinking about it, I think it's fun. I think it's a fun thing to do. I think it's funny when someone's like, th- like when you make a big <laughs> deal about things I mean, that are like so simple. I hate people like that. When it's something so simple, it's like. It's not disrespectful. It's more funny than it is disrespectful. Why would they get mad? I don't know. People get offended by that. People get offended that me and my, like I used to post sometimes text exchange with my mom. Right. And I, there was one time when I was like, mom, you're being a moron. And some people will comment like, you're a fucking piece of shit for ever calling your mom. I was like, you don't know. Our yeah. Dynamic. See, I'll you don't know our fucking dynamic relationship. Me and my mom right. have been in heated arguments. Right. Me and my dad have been in, like, that's just our household and how we grew do up. You swear. Did you guys swear? in front I've of swore to my mom. I've, I've talked to my mom in such a disrespectful way before. Now, but do does, I, does am I proud swear? of it? No, no. My mom, my mom. No. We'll just like she, her arguing tactics are, she's very like, um, you know, she'll, she hates to be wrong. Right. <laughs> I like I mean. that. Shit. But she'll like, she's just more like, oh, no, she, she's a walk away and there's nothing more irritating than that. that. Is, someone's like, you know what? That just, just, it, it's fine. It, like, move, like, no, 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 no. Let's finish this yeah, motherfucker. It's unfinished. Let's finish this. I'm, that's how my, and my relation- dad's the same way. Like, let's finish this. And she would deal with it with my dad and she would be, like, you know what? Just forget about it. Like, no, no, no. There's no forget <laughs> about it. Let's talk about it. And the just forget about it comes from you knowing that I'm going to be mentally tougher and battle with you here and you know 
My dad can't do what I do with her. I'll just be like, oh, you're just saying that because you feel bad and you're trying to make me well, feel you, bad about this situation. So I'll do this. Like, does he have the analytic? Like, no, he can't do what I do. <laughs> if he could do what I do, she would have left him. Oh, uh, that's funny. <laughs> He's just more like, Ugh! and, and then, then he like, just he, goes in the garage. She could just like make him feel stupid, whereas I can, I can mansplain and and. But what does that resolve with your? I mom? can manipulate. I get to laugh then. And so you like, no, you're just you're saying that to, you're starting like I'll take. Does like, your sister do this shit? No, but I'll do it to my sister, and she'll get mad how my dad would, and very vicious mad. Do you she ever? Can't. Did you ever? Do I'm that the most for- intelligent one in the family when it comes to wordplay. Not you, not book smart, but, but like arguing. I can mentally run them. Did you ever argue like that or like do that attitude in front of your sister's husband? Yeah, he's a very passive guy. He does, he, but he knows you're like not serious. Yeah, no, but I can I can get my sister if we argue. I can get her to physically come at me. Oh wow! There's no I I know I could, every single time what we do argue. You say? I, I can I don't know I can. Is just, it like just in, I don't do it anymore, but like I know that I have that power. I have the power to make. To I could get my sister to assault me, if I if I wanted to. I feel like I could get anyone to assault. I me. I mean, yeah, that's not just, hard. Uh, uh, if you just started spitting on me at some point, no, I have to no, get up without and any like just with words, I can get someone to assault me. Hey guys, it's that time again, and it's time to give a shout out to our sponsor, Manscape. Manscape.com. Get all your holiday gifts. Right now it's December, right? You got Christmas in two weeks. What are you putting in those stockings, guys? Guys. What are you putting in your own stockings? Because, guys, we're going to shop for ourselves in our own stockings. But, ladies, I know you're dating a guy. I know you're dating a guy, and he's got pubes up in your nostrils, and it's too much when you're giving him flesh, right? Let's be honest. You're giving flesh, right? Around the holidays, you give flesh because you had too much eggnog with liquor, and the flesh is getting too long. So what do you, what, what do you really need, right? You need, you need some trimmers, right? You need trimmers. You need, you need some you need crop preserver, right? The crop preserver. You need the crop cleaner. You need a crop mop. Wipe those balls because you want the balls to smell good. So put those in your boyfriend's stocking and it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. You're not saying he has smelly balls. If you do it as a gift, you're like, hey, I came across this website. It's manscaped.com. I went to manscaped.com and I heard it on the podcast, The Takeover. So at manscaped.com, when I picked a, a few uh, products for you, I went to the checkout and I took, put in the keyword takeover. At the end, and I got free shipping and 20% off. I got free shipping and 20% off by putting in the word takeover, right? And the reason I went to manscaped.com is because there's a lot of products there that are fun, all right? The weed whacker, what do we know about the weed whacker? It clears out the nose hairs. Guys have nose hair problems. And statistically speaking, girls, 75% of girls say that that's a major turnoff for them is nose hairs and ear hairs. I don't personally have ear hair, but I know that if you're in your 50s or 60s, you might. And I know that there's some moms out there listening to this episode. So if you're out there and your husband has some gray ear hairs or long ear hairs, you got, you know what you have? You have the weed whacker, trims out the nose, trims out the ears, that takes care of that. But the girls who are gonna be near the balls, near the jingle bells, near the jingle balls, we're gonna call it the jingle balls, right? You have jingle balls going on right now? What's up with the jingle balls? Do you like putting your mouth on the jingle balls? Is that too dirty? A little bit, but is it Christmas? Yes. Are we gonna call it jingle balls because of the holiday season? Yes. Now, do we have a special stocking package for you that you can give to your boyfriend without insulting him, right? We do, we do. Right? We do have it. And that's what you're going to do. We have a bunch of things called, and, and, the, and the stocking stuffers for this season are the crop preserver, the crop cleaner, and the crop mop, and the foot duster. Now, I don't have feet problem, but you have a good foot duster, which is foot deodorant, right? People's feet smell, especially if you run a lot, okay? I'm just telling you, it's a good thing to have. Now, the lawnmower 3.0 trimmer, that's how you tr- trim the pubes. It's great. comes with a little light. You can see it just in case you're doing it in the dark and you don't want the lights to be on when you're doing it. You can also cut your hairs in the shower with the, with, uh, with the, the mop on the floor, the shower mop thing. Fuck, I forgot the saying of it, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you're going to go to the website and it's manscaped.com. Manscaped.com at checkout. You put the takeover and you get 20% off and free shipping. Make sure for this holiday season, you check out everything at manscaped.com. All right, now let's get back to the show. That's a good skill. I think, well, it's an irritating thing. I feel like I can for sure. We got a man on the street this idea. No, but that's a stranger. It's easy stranger, to get a stranger. Yeah, it's yeah, more a like friend. friends. Like my sister for sure. I can I can get her going. I don't and think I, if, like, I, if I started arguing with my sister right now, she'd be like, what are you doing? 
No, my sister will like. My sister doesn't have as control of her emotions as much because she's got life. She has her life with her kids and stuff right. like that. Yeah, I guess maybe you're right. Now, my mom, I can get mad. I can just get her frustrated. My mom, we fucking she'll. That's like, but going back to what you're saying, like. I'm not, I'd never want to like swear or anything, but I swear around my mom. I don't really swear at her per se, but even like in the act of swearing at around my mother, like people have to try to like give me that, like don't talk to them like that. But then I do that to my friends. It's an do Italian, people on the East Coast, well, Italian people, culture's curse. It's just, it's, it's argumentative. Yes. That's what I'm saying. So it's like we can go, for, but then with that being said, we literally can go from arguing at like a 10 and one minute later be like, all right, we're both over this. And that's what people – so that's why I, that bled into my relationships with exes where it's like we fucking argue. And then I'm like, are we, are we still doing this? And she's like, yeah, we're still doing it. And it's like in her head, it's still a heated debate. And I'm like, oh, we just get over things. So like I – yeah, I, I can – I used to be a bad arguer and like I had no logic and would just lose my temper. But I've gotten really better. I don't know why. Um, I do know why, but I don't want to go into why. It's just because of this podcast, I think. Like Self-therapy. This – this, this is pure therapy. But no, but the um, I grew up watching my dad and his mom argue all the time. But it was in Italian. I don't know what they were saying, but like they your dad would, knows Italian. Yeah, they, he would speak Italian. And they never oh, taught shit. me. But they would they would fight every holiday. There was fighting, and we were just like, uh, and my mom would be like, "All right, guys, stop." Do you have an aunt that cries every holiday, like or argues? No, we had an aunt. She was she, they got divorced, but she was there. She would argue with her husband too. Bro. Like, but she was like a, a a North New Yorker Italian type of lady too. And then my uncle, you know, it's funny when you're a little, you don't know when why divorces happen. Right. And you get older, and you're like, oh, they were both fucking around. You're like, that's so uh. fascinating when you find out why things didn't work out. So why did they get divorced? Was it they didn't get along? You're like, nah, your fucking uncle was cheating because he worked at the bar and he was fucking <laughs> girls on the side. You're like, oh, they're people. Oh wow, they're, they're just like, people. Yeah, doing you're weird like, shit. Oh, my, my my uncle was playing my aunt. That's crazy. I didn't even know that because I remember like, so my uncle and aunt get divorced, right? And I'm probably like a teenager, right? And his kids are young, and it for sure fucked them up. Really. Yeah, for sure. Because it's later in life. They're weird. Ass, they're weird. Really? I, my cousins are weird. They're not socially normal. Like, they wouldn't be able to work I want to ask a question, but I don't think you want me to say it on here. What do you mean? Go ahead. What, was it? The, remember we drove to the Long Beach Laugh Factory that time? No. You, no, that, that's that's a different cousin. That one's normal. Okay. That's but a, that was a story about a cousin with some issues. Oh, he had issues? I don't know. Remember? I, just, I don't know why we were talking about this, and you remember? I remember you saying... Did it fuck up? No, it's just low power mode. So that means you get 20% left. We'll be fine. Oh, okay. I don't know. <clears throat> I just remember you talking about you had beef with one of your cousins and you're like, I don't give a fuck. And it was some oh, Facebook no, drama. This is, this, that, this is the weird cousin. Yeah. Yeah. No, I thought you said because you met one of my cousins at Long Beach. No, we were I have driving a, there and you were talking about how. I'll bring that up right now. So the cousin, but I do just to not confuse. I, on my mom's side of the family, one of her nephews, his kids, it's my second cousin. He lives in like. San Diego or, or Camp Pendleton. He's right. in the military. So sometimes he would drive up and come to Long Beach and watch a show. Oh, okay. Those guys are kind of pretty much normal and cool. This Yeah, I had a, we, a cousin that I was like, my whole beef with, uh, you know, yeah, you spend holidays with them. Right. But, like, I'm not one of those people who thinks blood is thicker than water. That's people. the word that you yes. said in the car. That thing is – that's so dumb to me. <laughs> that is stupid. That's a dumbass fucking thing. Nothing – Blood no. sticker, like shut the fuck up. No. Like I have a better connection Friends. with my butter, my <laughs> yeah. buddy Tim, AJ, Evan, and Jay. I've known them since eighth grade, of middle school. Right. So, and then just like the experiences you had with them through college, high school, growing up as adults, seeing them get married, have kids. Like, yo, that's family to me. Over my fucking cousins, I would see three times a year. Right. During holidays where right. we played, but it was always like never as fun as playing with my real friends. <laughs> and then like now that I come to Florida to do shows, you're mad at me because I don't hit you up to like go get lunch with you. S fuck you. Like fuck you. Like you're not – I don't have that – like I spent days, months, years with these guys and you want me to fly across America. And then when I get in town, you want me to not Revert meet up shit. with them Dude, I get and it. meet up with you and then you're going to be offended by that? Like no. No, fuck Get that. the fuck out of here. Like you're not I – mean, also, when I come to Florida, I have to go see my nephews and my – like that's what's important. Right. You're like – if you want to make – you make it – like I flew here. You go out of the way, come to the show, and I'll spend time with you and have a drink after the show. 
But that's it. I'm not going to your the house. I, I, my, yeah. the, my friends are my family. Right. Like, if you can't understand, they're like, yeah, but we're family. Nah, I don't. That's not how I look at life. You no, know what I mean? I like, get it. So they're just weird, socially weird. They're socially weird. Like, even if they listen to this, I wouldn't care. But, like, yeah, you guys are you guys are, you guys are socially weird. We- you're, you're socially weird. Like, you, you guys like, are fucking weird. Like, Sorry, it's, it's just wave. you're not. And weird's not bad. My mom might be offended. She's like, don't, don't, don't do that. Like, she's very <laughs> – but, like, I'm not saying it's bad weird. I'm just saying if you lined up every single person in the world, you would be towards the weird side. Weird side. Part. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't even be in the middle. Why do they think – what like – I think because people hang on to that nostalgia of growing up and the relationships you had then. And then even though you go away, they're like, well, he's going to prioritize me over everything else. But no way. fuck that shit, dude. No, I prioritize. I've had aunts and uncles come to L.A. Aunts and uncles that when I go home, I got to make time for them. They came to L.A. and did not hit me up. Yeah. Which it's like, I guess it's rever- inverse of like your story. But also, I didn't give a fuck. But I was also like, why the fuck do I? But if they came to L.A. Now, if these if the weird cousins came to L.A. and they hit me up, I would drop everything. I would drop everything. I'm like, okay, you're in L.A. Do something. I will. I will come see you. And I'm like, let me show you around for anyone, though. That's that's not even family. That's for anyone from my past that shows up to L.A. Like and this has been going on for the uh, almost 11 years I've been here. There's been people who I didn't see throughout college, but I knew in high school that had hit me up. And I was like, yo. What's up? A guy I saw in Denver, like a- anyone I've known for a, 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 right. my childhood, if they come here, I'm like, oh, I'll connect with you. Right. Always will. Because you're in my town. I have stuff to do. But when I'm traveling, I go back to Florida. It's overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Like I'm seeing my family, which is my best friends. Who would you have to have come here that didn't hit you up for you to be like, what the fuck was that all about? One of those weird cousins came and didn't. And were you kind of like, why didn't you hit me up in the like, city? Why I'm would like, he not hit me up if he's in L.A.? That's and that's I why felt. I go, oh, you're weird. Because why would you not? I'm I've had, I'm a huge I, asset for you here. I've had multiple aunts and uncles be in this city and not hit me up. And then, I, again, I was like, I don't really give a fuck. No, that's weird as fuck. Like, I've that's had, weird. I even told my mom. She's like, I know. And I, now I'm like, is there more to my family? Because when probably. she says I know, she said it like I know. I'm not, I've that's known. why like let's get deep into that that's what i'm saying about the uncle story like of knowing why they really got divorced you're like that's fascinating it that's, is you know what i mean that's that's juicy shit like my uh, my mom's side of the family uh her her niece uh, which i consider they're like an aunt and uncle to me because not they're older guts. not super guts yeah but they're oh gotcha they're not they're not they're older but like when they came out to la they hit me up i drove and met them like in woodland hills right um and then um yeah, even friends who like one of my buddies, Danny from college. I hadn't seen him really. Maybe I've seen him once or twice in the last eight, nine years. Right. But I keep in touch through social media. But he was out here, and then I see his story. I'm like, I'll, I met them in Santa Monica. Right. Like, I'll do anything to meet even old right. friends. So when you when you're a cousin, even if you're a weird cousin, even though I don't hit you up when I come to Florida. Right. But I'm coming to Florida for Christmas to see my family and then to do shows. Right. I'm overwhelmed. So it's like, you hit me up, and I'll be like, yeah, meet me here. Right. I can't. I don't have a car to like go meet you for lunch. I don't have time to do that. Right. I'm also working. Right. It's not my show, so it's like right. if you can't comprehend that. Meet me that, halfway. Yeah. Sometimes I'm already. Expect- I'm flying there. So now, when you came to LA, I would show you how you're supposed to do it. I would drop everything, mm-hmm. even though again you're still my cousin that I grew up with. But I would drop everything to go to you. Go to you and be like, yeah. yo, what's up? I'll show you around. All, I, dude, I'm a host. Right. But you didn't even hit me up. I'm like, ah, oh, you're weird. I'm 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 the best asset you could have in LA. How could you I don't not know why they up? wouldn't. Why would you not? You're a moron. What if you your are LA the, experience? What if you're the weird cousin? That's fascinating. <laughs> that, hey, you could be. What if you're the cousin like he's fucking weird? But there's no way. I, I know mean, I know because I'm the relatable. I watched word porn today. It's a thing on YouTube and they said if you have bad breath, your nose never knows that. So it's hard to see the issues with yourself. Then you don't have, you have, you don't have good friends. Maybe you're the. You don't have good friends. I mean, if you're a bad breath guy, where people like. I mean, not bad. It's the it's the idea that you can't see the problems with yourself. I understand. So for you to say your cousins are no, weird. No, no, no. But watch. I'll hey, Missile knows you have defending your family. I, 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 no, it's not her <laughs> side. It's my dad's side. Oh, fuck that side. No, but it's the. Sorry. Sorry it's that. the. It's. I'm self aware enough to know. Like, listen, I know I'm not a bad breath guy. Because I know I have close enough friends. First of all, if you're a comic, if you're a comic and you're in the community, right, you're not a bad breath guy because your comic friends will be like, "Yo, your fucking breath smells right. all the time." Right. They're gonna right. tell right. you, right, right, right. Okay. If also when like when we say bad breath, we're talking just general vibe. 
like it's a co- it's a consistent thing. Right. Everybody's okay. had bad breath. Well, I'm not saying friends. bad breath exact, but I know you're saying. But okay. you know what I mean? There are people who are like, oh, there's a common thing. Like this guy has bad breath a lot. Yeah. Yo, you don't have good friends. You don't have good friends. Right. Because your friends should step in like, yo, you fucking stink. Like it's almost the same thing with like when you see um, a, a comedian, the way he like his his humor is or his posting, his comedy or even his stand up. You're like, there's something off about his stand up. Like there's a little thing. It's like, oh, he doesn't have core. Uh, he doesn't really have any really good. I have a tough time with that one sometimes because some people can't handle it and I don't want. Then you're not going to make it in this business. I know. There's got to be someone – got to be old, friends with an older enough comedian that could be like, no. It's you. You're older enough. Okay. Yeah. I'd rather people tell me – I when I send, like, stupid videos or ideas to people, I'm like – I will preface it. Tell me if this is bad. Like we talked about, I don't need the support. I'm not doing this to, like, get this compliment. But, man, we know so many fucking people out here that uh, – I can have something like, okay, I do a solo podcast – and then sometimes Ian could be like, no, that one's too similar to Chris. And I go, okay, mm-hmm. I can handle it. Mm-hmm. I get it. I learned comedy through Chris. Right. You, that's, that's the, the, he taught me how to do comedy. So it's like, what, like I'm going to have his influence. So, but I can handle that. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. So like, or like, if it's like stand up wise, like, I mean, I, I feel myself on there, but I could be like. It, I, if if I was doing a bit that's really doing good, but it's not that good of a bit, I would have a friend that'd be like, "Eh, it's kind of been done." Who, who or would you've do heard that? it. Who would say that? I feel like anyone would. Fahim, Ian, Chris. I'm um, not in a position to be comfortable enough to do that to people. There's got to be someone you would. If I was doing a bit that you thought was hacky, you would tell me. Uh, Why would you not? I mean, maybe if I. Well, I would. I hope. feel like in the last, we've only started doing shows more recently. Yeah. So I would I'd, want you to. I will. I would for sure want be like, no, that's kind of like che- hacky. It's been I bad. don't know. I feel like I, so I I don't actually know many comics. I would I've, do it. I even do it up. Like I would do it to Chris. I would do it to Ian. I would do it to – I wouldn't do it to Ian. He's not going to fucking have I'm too self-conscious. Where I would I do it to like, Fahim sometimes. I'd be like, I, I heard what's – like, you know what I mean? You, Fahim's one of those comics who does a bit about everything. So I could be like, oh, I've, you know, I could do You it. would say like, hey, I heard someone else do that shit. Yeah, for sure. But isn't that – that's the job. So that's why when you ha- see a comic who's just way off, you're like, this guy doesn't have close enough friends. Right. For sure. I mean, it's t- – you know, I get it. I would – I do it to Mark all the time. I would do it to I Mark. I mean, well, we do, you can do Mark's whole set. I would be like, Mark, <laughs> I would be like, come on. I'll, I mean, dude, I'll screenshot tweets and be like, Mark, come on. I'll be like, Mark, what, what are you doing? I go, Mark, you can't tweet that. I go, that's that's been tweeted that's racist. a thousand times. I, yeah. You know what I mean? That's the thing I – maybe, if I, maybe if I had a dad, I would be more inept to have that abrasive approach to people and not feel so – that's a dad vibe from you. I'm more of the motherly, I'll just let people do the things and hope they figure it out because I don't want to no, step I'll on people. No, I'll tell you why because it's bothering me. It's bothering me that they're doing it. That's good. It's bo- and, and it's bothering me and it's ruining my day. Wow. It's ruining my day. Now – Going back to the whole thing, the juicy thing about my uncle and aunt, that's, I was I was actually excited that he was fucking girls on the side. So you know for, you for a fact somebody – I've never talked about it with him. I'm close with my cousin, the weird cousins. I'm close with my uncle. Like I hit, I hit him up and I go, hey, I'm in Florida. If we can meet up, great. You go, Did you tell my son? You're like, no, he goes, good. What? And then you both go. Oh, yeah. I go, you both he go goes, he goes oh, yeah, uh, the kids are going to be here. I was like, well, if, if it works out, but like I just care about seeing you. Really? I literally, yeah. He, him I like. They, I have, dude. Why I are they with weird? Them. What? What? Who what they am I get it from? They just they, first of all, the socially. How, this is how they're weird. Okay, social media wise, across the board, they're right. like not active. So it's like they have no social wow. life, right? Uh, uh, yeah. Girlfriend wise, I can tell by self esteem, Strug- not high self esteem across the board. Yes, <laughs> one of them I could be like was socially like probably you know was a virgin late into his they life. Not like that that makes you shooters. weird. Florida. Although social school students not have more of a fi- no, okay physically attractive no, I'm not saying that's weird but like not uh, but like n- not self aware of their appearance of like being um, and even my uncle would have problems with this he would call them out for it too you know what I mean like just your uncle not, sounds like he's just like what he, did he's, I create he's, yes yes he's so self aware one hundred percent my uncle is definitely like why couldn't you guys be like Michael. <laughs> 
That's hilarious. I bet you he's thought that. He's for sure been like, you guys see, he gets it. Yes. <laughs> you, your 100%. Cousin, your cousins don't get it. And my mom's listening to this, and she's going to be offended by this topic, but she knows uh. we're right. And she goes, but it's pro- she's probably going, but this isn't their business. Mom, relax. No one knows. These, these cousins we're are so at. weird, they don't even know how to listen to a podcast. They don't even know where to go. Okay? So let's be honest. They're fucking just. But I'm just God. saying, they're like, none of them are, are like. One got married, but like not traditionally, like randomly, and they lay. He left South Florida. I don't know where he is. That's not okay. Yeah. Why are cousins not family oriented? Really? Then I have the younger one who would get mad. She was a girl, and she's like, she she's like mad blocked. She, wasn't. she blocked me on Facebook. She would go on Facebook rants about the family stuff, and like I'm sick of like them not caring about like. That's the one just, that you. That was the one that we talked unsta- about. Just social social media wise, unstable. So that's, it's like that's a, that to me is like oh you're weird. I have plenty of those. I sure. have very uns- but I almost follow them because I like to see how weird. I do too. But she un- like to like un- like unfollow me. And oh. Unfollow me because I didn't meet you when I was back in South Florida. Wow. <laughs> like we have no relationship. She's like, well, I'd like to have more of a relationship. Cool, we could talk. But then when I'm in <sighs> South Florida, I'm working and I got to see my 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 good friends and then come to a show. I, I'll put tickets aside for you, yeah. whatever. And then the other one, I never even talked to him. I follow him on Instagram, and he's posted twice in the last eight years. Do you have any cousins you kick it with? You would like chill with more. My mom's side, my second cousins. There was one that lives in, uh, you know, San Diego. I keep in touch with him. I was like, hey, Thanksgiving, come up. And then, but in Florida, his other two brothers, I'm not gonna hit them up. Yeah, I get that. But like his dad, I have a show in Palm Beach. I'll be like, oh, I'll come to them maybe. My cousin out here, she just gave me that fucking. She's cool as shit. She just gave me that air fryer. But yeah, then I have other cousins where you're like, "What the fuck planet are you from?" But I, I listen. If it feels like it's um, a chore to hang out with you, then I don't want to do it. I don't care right. that much about having you in my life. <laughs> That's fine. You know I what mean, I mean? Like, listen, dude, I get all- that you're family, but like, I want my family, whoever I get married to and have kids, I want to put them around the people I vibe with mm-hmm. because that's gonna be the best energy. I don't want to be like, hey, we have to hang out with these people because this is family. Like, that's no. that's a societal thing that was made up. That was made up. It this really is all was made uh. up because you. It, it's this isn't the fucking. 1910s where there's no technology and you do all you have is your family to lean on right that's not the world we live in anymore because well, growing up your cousins were your friends and your i feel like grandparents in hindsight for for them it's different you gra- did it is a family thing grandparents were held the the craziness at bay when you would go to like family parties like i feel like once your parents didn't have a car at 16 to go drive to the friend's house but that's what i'm saying i mean like we even, had that even growing up like <clears throat> when my grandparents pass away that's when all the crazy shit started happening because I feel like the grandparents would keep all that psycho shit below sea level. Does that make sense? Yeah, maybe. I but I know. think that least- goes into like like our grandparents. Like it was family oriented more than us because like, dude, the minute we were sixteen, I was gone. I'm hanging out at my buddy's right. house every day. You're seeing those people every day. Right. You know what I mean? You you didn't even our parents didn't do that. First of all, my, my parents are foreigners so they left their friends then there's no way of keeping foreigners yeah they're british and like i'm first generation american you know what i mean so it's like that's hilarious so like i they're not also our parents generation they keep in touch keeping touch with their friends was calling them on a phone a house line and it's like once a month once every other month you lose once they have kids it's harder right right? facebook kind of brought them back in touch like oh wow how have you been it's been like 15 years yeah that was fun for them yeah but for us we've kept in touch with our friends non-stop non-stop absurdly because of social media and cell phones and texting like you could text with them so it's like uh, we're the first generation to text with people right now I, if I had that relationship with my cousins, maybe it would have been better, but we were never texting with each other because yeah. you guys were fucking weird dorks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, bro, I was drinking and smoking pot in high school and college. Yeah. You weren't doing that. You're weird. That's weird. You're weird if you didn't, if drink, you didn't drink in college. Or if even when I, kids who started drinking in college, I found weird, but as long as they tried. How about this? If you're a guy. And you didn't mm-hmm. like just want to get drunk with your buddies and hang out and even try you to get suck. laid. And you didn't want to try you to get suck. laid when you were nineteen or twenty. What's going on? That is strange. You know what I mean? I don't like what. What were you doing? You even if you were a video game. What about your video game crew nerds? Like what were you, you guys didn't like? You didn't get out? together and drink beer. Like what? Or or even smoke pot. I drank the first time I drank. Literally was, like, was when your mom was pregnant with you because she was feeding it to you. Dude, because I was fucking. <laughs> 
D- yeah, uh, sophomore year, no, junior year of high school, which I even think was kind of oddly late. Yeah, but, for sure. But it, I, I dove in. Good. I got after it. Yeah, but even Be- now you're like you're a little square when it comes to partying. I mean, that's very debatable. It's because you're you're scared. <laughs> you you only drink. You've never done drugs. My Have overhead- you even smoked pot? Yeah. Did it fuck up again? No, it's at ten percent. We're fine though. We can. Yeah, we're fine. fine. Um. Um. I mean, uh, you're you're kind of dorky. Dude, I get after it drinking. You get after it. I get after it. You're kind of a dork. I mean, that's not a dork. I just have more of a. I have a little more at risk. What? 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 Than you guys. What do you think you could lose? Because you guys just you do your little party tricks, and then you just have like I got I got work. I got stuff. I can't just be getting wild. Why? Because I have to go, like, I have a lot of responsibility outside of comedy. So if you were just a comedian, you would get more wild. I probably wouldn't even do that. No, you wouldn't because you have <laughs> some moral guilt. I know. You've, honestly, never, done, oh, you've never done mushrooms? I'm, I honestly have you've not. Got, have I don't do it. pot? Yes. And I don't. I honestly don't do those things because I have crippling anxiety when I smoke weed. And I go, there's no way it will be better miraculously than those. I don't smoke weed anymore either because of... It, it makes me have a lower self-esteem. I feel terrible when I smoke weed. I used to smoke weed in college. I would do it before bed. In college, I would do it all the time. I would me smoke too. and drink all the time. And get public subs. I would do. I and would. I loved it. I was to the point where I can smoke weed and go to, like, class. Then one day when I went to Hawaii for a summer, I smoked weed there. And it literally was so strong. It, it fucked my brain up to the point where every time after that, I would smoke and I would freak out. And then... And then I was like, well, I'm for sure not eating mushrooms and going to feel that for seven hours. Yeah, it's not. Mushrooms. Although like I've heard three to I've, four I've hours. Heard. It's just more. It's I don't I think you would be able to handle mushrooms fine. Like I, I, I know that <laughs> when people have done mushrooms, there's people who I could be like might be a little weird for him because I think they they're closed off. I don't think you're that closed off. I'm not closed off at all. I mean, I guess. I mean, I we am. started the episode with talking about how I don't think you are necessarily a kid from a broken home. There could be some things that you have issues with. You know, I, I've never dated you. I don't know if you have I mean, intimacy issues, but you could. No. No. Commitment but, for sure. No, you, that's just you're using that as an excuse. Nobody no. has commitment issues. That's an excuse. I guess. Yeah. No, know. if you found the right person. I guess that's true. Maybe that's. Uh, you know what I mean? You just like you lie to yourself and you tell yourself, "Oh, I think I like this person." But it's well, because with being single, but being single, you look at, and this sounds fucked up to say, there's girls you'd hook up with and girls you'd date. And when there's an abundance more of the girls you'd hook up with, then you start to trick but your brain. Sometimes like, you go into a, a girl, you, sometimes you go into dates and you meet a girl and you're like, I could date this girl. And then you get to know them and you're like, I'm only going to hook up with this girl. And then there could be girls that you be like, oh, I'm just trying to hook up with this girl. And you're like, oh, you I like could them. date her. I've had a few of those. But you just are telling yourself you like them. Yeah. And then, then there could be someone you're like, oh, I, I want to see you again. And I don't know. There could be. I mean, there, there, there could there. be a magic spark. I don't know. What do I know? Dave. Do I know? I don't know. I, why would you know that? I wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know that. I wouldn't know, but I'm saying. It could be a thing. It could be a thing. It could be a thing where you're like, oh, this is you. This is this is what it is. What yeah. was I doing before? I was lying That's, and, to myself. And I'm in the before. The, I'm, the, I'm the, chilling in the. W- yeah, before I would date someone and be like, I'm lying to myself. That's that's that. I didn't like that person. I, mean, I was saying, oh, I like this about them. Because you have so few of the good ones that you start to trick your brain. Like, are these? Is this what this I'm is, dealing? This with? is what I'm looking for. And then you think, oh, that's not real. And then you, then you're like, wait a minute, this is something crazy. Yeah, it's great, and I'm not there yet. I yeah. haven't find it. Uh, you know, hopefully soon. Man, I had a couple notes to go over. I'm wondering how much time we have left on your camera. We're at 51. Uh, if I can keep, I don't know, like. No, I mean, I, if we could go 10 more minutes, that's great. I think we should be able to. Who cares if we lose you? Then you're just audio, and then it just goes back to me. Fuck it. So I, just I, I, just case, write it out. Who cares? Yeah, I'm not worried if yours goes out. This is our again. You grow with the podcast. All right. We're Teenates, learning. All right, I didn't team charge members. My phone. You, you 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 go you grow with the podcast, and if it has to go to a full screen of me, that's fine because that's why we tuned in anyways. You know what I've, are we are we really getting Maddie Shimbor real fans watching this episode? I mean, they might be. If I am decide. I gonna am I gonna actually edit an actual? You know what I'm gonna do? Am I gonna episode? even be in this episode? Uh, you know what I'm gonna do for this episode? I'm gonna actually give you the footage and let you cut up a funny clip and you do it. That sounds not. That's not. 
going to happen, but damn. See, I was trying to like get some <laughs> work for me. It doesn't, you know, see, I just don't even care to cut clips anymore. It's just like, I just, post honestly, the episode they because don't. it's not doing anything. For they me. don't do shit. So it's like, what's why the do you point? even post them? I don't. You do though. I had, I, ju- I posted like a Christmas tree one and I was I mean, like, I'm I, done I, with this now. Honestly, podcast clips, I think on Instagram are absolute. And it's not, unless you I, have a huge following, unless yeah. you have a huge following. It's, I tell people this, I go, you so. don't become famous through podcasts anymore unless you're already big to get yeah. people there. Yeah. It's a side thing. Instagram is a website now for me. It's just like, I mean, here's what I've done, and that's it. I'm done. I'll which is po- shitty. I post on my story. I mean, I think it'll they'll figure it out. I think Or I'm, something else will come along after besides TikTok. Like, is there going to be another thing that comes out? What the fuck can honestly – sorry. What can I honestly don't know. be – I felt like we're done with the social media world. That, like, what other pl- idea can somebody do? Although we thought Because you have Twitter, you have Instagram, which is showing videos and pictures, and the Twitter's the words. So what else could be? TikTok's is like a silly, it's okay. a creative thing, but it's not a thing that's going to get. Like, Facebook and Instagram were big because you got the baby boomers on it. Our parents joined it. Right. Our parents didn't join TikTok. They ain't, they're not joining it. Right. You're, the TikTok thing is big for the younger generation, but you it didn't get the old people to join. Instagram, Facebook always had that. Right. Older people, or Twitter even too. Right. Like Twitter is a news outlet now. They're too Twitter is more for news than, that's where you go for news. No for one me. does it for humor anymore. Although there's no, some there, people. There's some good tweets that you laugh at, but I go to Twitter for news. Right. That's where I get my information from, right? So now, and then Instagram and Facebook, Facebook was huge for the baby boomers. They loved it. They were reconnecting with their whole past. Like it was we easy just too. There was no they were like, interactive. Oh my God, I'm friends with people I haven't seen for right. 20 years. And then we were just like, this is great. And then now they got an Instagram because they they get to follow their kids and then their friends and see the pictures. Right. But TikTok's not something you're getting. My mom's not signing up for TikTok. Even my I mean, sister like will maybe look at it, but like I, I'm not even doing it. I, I signed up for it. I'm like, this is like. It's too much. I can't like I'm, I feel cheesy doing it. I'm 36. I'm not doing a dance thing. So, mm-hmm. so that was what was big about Facebook and Instagram. So, is there going to be another thing that can get? What could you create, app wise, that would get my mom, a 70 year old, to be like, oh, I want to be on it? They don't care about them anymore. But they still are on Instagram. My be, mom, my mom and dad will scroll Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. You realize, like, as a 70 year old, there's scroll probably Instagram. one more. You're done. Like, there's probably like maybe one more app we'd get. But other than that, they're all like, it's not about up creating a profile anymore that you can like connect with people. And there's no like, there those Facebook and like even Instagram. Instagram is like a hybrid of TikTok and Facebook because it's content you're creating. Facebook is no content. It's just literally connecting. Yeah. Instagram is. A mixture of a profile meets content. It's very. It's not content. It is for us. It, but, but the majority of people on Instagram, it's content for them to look at. But for them, it's just right. connecting and sharing their lives. Right. So they're private. They're like, hey, look at our kids. Look at our family. But then they are now looking at. TikTok's like a TV station slash social Instagram media Instagram is app. too. They're like, oh, did yeah. you watch this on Instagram? Instagram now is now what Instagram and Facebook are now. Right. Is a marketing tool now. That's all. That's what it is now, and that's why Instagram is is shitting for uh, for for uh, performers or artists is because they've made it. Now they want it. They don't give a fuck if you're growing your following because now there's such a big following on Instagram. They're like, this is a marketing tool now. Let's use it through that. So it's like, hey. What companies want to – companies are pushing money into Instagram and Facebook right now. Right. They're just all about ad revenue. Ad. So they're making money. So they don't care about you growing your art now. So what it's is – the, there's got to be an artist app again that gets us to be like, hey, if you're a fan of me, come Well, they this. would have to per, – me pers- like they would have to not allow meme pages that, that uh, curate everybody's stuff because my argument is why the hell are people going to follow the creators when they can go to a, a location that – curates the best from like everyone Barstool Sports. Dude, I'm, yeah. let's be honest we're, we're putting out one out of every 10 posts that you do of whatever you do is probably the good one yeah why the fuck are they going to watch nine bad ones when they can go to this page who rips off everybody Everything. yeah so and it's almost the best of the best and you know what and businesses would rather pump money to them than they, they don't care about like we're down yeah. here and everyone's cherry picking all the good stuff putting on their page this but if true but if we do it we're t- one hacks because we know people who do that and then two, we as a creator, we don't do that. So it's like you'd almost like want like a bigger page to like sign you, and th- at least you get some guaranteed kickbacks once a yeah. month. I don't know. It's fucked. But it's shitty because that's how we get fans. So, but, yeah, shows. but it's like how what will is there going to be another thing? And it feels like there's not. I mean, it's our brain. What could you possibly come out with that would be the next? Instagram or I mean because we're even saying Instagram it starts to make you think of that it's gonna be something that we're like do you remember when Twitter came out we're like 
what do we do? This is before I even moved to LA. That's what I'm saying. But you're like, you write something and upload. It's gonna be like that's stupid, and then they do it. And you, remember Vine? Vine is t- TikTok is just a better Vine. Yeah. But you're like, what a six? Sec- it's gonna be something that doesn't make sense, and then people just start to like it, and then they. But that's why it's like now Instagram is just like okay. It's, it's a web, but it's, oddly, it's that website. became the centralized one for some reason because it has the most responsive. Although I've talked to people and they said Facebook is becoming the new low key thing for people like us. Your fan page, you should actually put more into it. Be- I, I connect it to the Instagram, yeah. But I'm saying like actually like trying to make it a thing because like so many more. I feel like even people on Facebook are more responsive to mess with you than they are. You know? I don't know. It doesn't work that well either for me, Facebook either. It's like, uh, it's weird. You're you know? just getting old and being phased out. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's like all you have, all I have is the stage now. That's I all mean, you can have. You don't even like, have a place to do your own podcast. You're just driving. I know. I'm using other people's <laughs> places to do stand up. It's I unbelievable. Mean, dude, I don't know. Whatever. People are weird. But I, you got to fuck, you know, but don't be that guy who's like, fuck this shit. It's like, I always tell people, find something in there you like doing. If you like doing the podcast, let's just do them. It'll Whatever. We didn't have you on here to fucking learn from you. I mean, all right, I always coach. tell people like he's 33, bro. Like, all right, coach. What are you, like, dude, you're a 33 year old guy. You're not some fucking 55 year old director. I'm talking. I always tell young people when they come into the business. Did I say young? If you want to get into directing. Did I say young? No, but I'm adding to it. Oh, okay. Um, whatever. Whatever, dude. I don't give a f- I How many it. times do you think you said fuck on this episode? Here's a fun thing for this 12. episode. Rewatch this episode with your friends and take a shot every time Mar- Maddie says fuck. Fuck. How about Maddie? How about we just do Matt from now on? Yeah, I honestly have been tossing that around. Because you feel childish? I mean, it it's was... because your mom raised you, right? <laughs> no, honestly, you're, the is truth... your real Your real name is Matthew. Yeah. So the truthful are... thing is because the beauty when you Google Maddie versus Matt, my work stuff doesn't come up. Because if you do Matt or Matthew, like work things, oh. Maddie, you don't... You well, get maybe a spill. stuff is Maddie anyway, so now you got to stay with it. I mean... Billy, it used to be Billy Burr. I'm not saying I'm anything near them. Used, used to go be by Billy Burr back in the day. Who? Bill Burr. He used to go by Billy. People call him like in like whim. They call him Billy Burr or whatever. I think he even said he used to go by Billy when he first started in stand up. I so I'm like it's gonna be it's crappy that my social media is like, but I can change that. I literally can go do Matt, but I but I'm not opposed to like people call me. I'm like, should I whatever. go to Mike Leno? Mike Leno. <laughs> I don't care what people call me at this point. It's just sh- crappy that everything has the why, but you know. Wow, it makes it a little feminine, right? It's just it's lame. I, it's I like trust me. I can't be. F- a you fi- can na- you would name a dog Maddie. Th- that's what I'm saying. But it's like I can't be like a should 55 I, should, year old comic and they're like, yeah, Maddie Chimber, and they're like, what does he talk about? Like dating still? Like, should I should I change mine to Mikey? Mikey that, Linochi. That would be weird. Mikey Linochi. I always asso- associate the Y with like a more friendy when somebody's shouting your name. And I was just like, oh, Yeah, you can't date a girl and be serious with her and be like, Maddie, I love you. I mean, I have some girls. I'm like, you can call me whatever they want. They're like, I like Maddie. I'm like, all right. Because Maddie sounds Because you knew Maddie me as Matt. Female. You knew me as Matt. Uh, honestly, an ambiguous. No idea. You didn't? No idea. I didn't know your name for years. That's fucked up. I'm kidding. <laughs> wow. Um, no, I don't, uh, you know. It, it, but it's like that was like me growing a mustache. They're like, I want to do something a little different. It there was a some sort of strategy behind it, and now I'm just regretting it. What do we do now? If we do this next episode, what will we talk about? I mean, we can talk for another three hours, and it's going to keep changing. You're right. Did we, we did. A I'm good not worried riff, about it. But was I in control, or did I let you have control? A I think bit? I let you talk the whole time. It's my podcast. I mean, it's your podcast. I'm just here to f- smile awkwardly. and. Yeah, but I could have you on the podcast a lot. You don't think if we did more. I mean, this was an introductory one, but you realize. If we get the studio, which I told the podcast last episode, hey, there could be a, a potential um, a set change to the takeover where it's bigger. And there could be a lot of fun changes going into the new year if that's a thing. I mean, if you did the set thing and you It'd be cool to have three people even at one point, some episodes. Dude, I, I, we read them before. You ever, I've done uh, JT and Chad's, what we're going to call them. They're even having the producer kid in the corner, even though he's not on it, hearing. Like, the more people you start putting in there, it it's changes the hang. dynamic. Yeah, yeah. Like, vibe. if somebody else was here right now, it would be different than me and you just trying to. You could. We could have a third person. Like, if I did it next week and we had. I don't know how you do the third mic. I mean, I, well, the he Zoom. could fit. I could have this pulled back, this camera right here, and I could have Mark right there, 
and then we're just doing that he doesn't get it bits you know we're yeah doing that would last literally in 15 minutes but there would be it would be fine we would be fine bits but but hypothetically you're right we could easily have three people here it's not hard at all you can just have somebody sit over there and we just don't even no but i'm saying but if you comic, want them, right but now I you gotta think of but then you gotta think of like cutting i don't know how does king this thing do it no no i could fit both of you in the camera i don't want to sit next to him i could fit both of you in the camera and i would just cut um i could do it split right i could still do it split I, I would figure I that. Think we're both out adults that we can talk about stuff. I just, you know, not worried about it. <laughs> oh, bro, are you are you are you over it? Are you over I'm the not, podcast? I, I'm, I I'm not over it. the podcast. J- the idea. I'm, I'm not worried. We can't come up with new ideas. You can have three percent. Me? Yeah. Of the kickback. Of the takeover, if you come on it a lot. Uh-huh. Um, listen, guys. Are we done before you like? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let me finish. All right, so that was that was hey guys, that was this week's episode. So Maddie Schimber was on Maddie Schimber Part Two. So make sure you uh, leave five star review, um, leave a five star review. Right? Is that what I say? What else do I say? Subscribe, like, th- you know, whatever. It's like I don't have to say it. You know, you guys listen to podcasts. You fucking know what to do, right? Interact with it. I don't know. Yeah, just comment. Don't comment. Whatever, comment. Whatever. Yeah, I, I got to. Uh, I got to plug. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the episode, and now that's I'm going to do something else afterwards right now. But I- the Takeover. Okay. Wait, did we start? Yeah, we did. That's how I start. Takeover. Now, there's a lot of things we're going to get in it. But when I speak, and when I speak, and when I speak, and I speak, and Oh, my God.